Complex aerospace components, molds, dyes, and automotive parts often require a combination of 2D and 3D machining strategies. Feature Mill 3D adds a range of 3-axis milling capabilities, enabling you to broaden the range of work you can take on. With the same interface as all other FeatureCam modules, FeatureCam 3D is fast, powerful, flexible, and easy to use. You simply select the faces that you want to machine and go through the new feature wizard. One option you have is to have FeatureCam guide you through creating rough, semi-finish, and finish operations. So you just put in the definitions you need, such as the tool size and the finish allowance, select the operations you want, and click Finish. The feature-based CAM technology will go through and create all of your operations and generate your toolpath. Once your toolpath is complete, you have a range of information including an op list, a tool list, and of course your NC code. More advanced users can apply individual surface milling processes to part surfaces. In this example, I'm going to select the part surfaces by color. Select by color and I'll choose the gray color. Okay, and now I can start my new feature wizard. I'll go with surface milling, and this time instead of going through the rough, semi-finish, and finish, I'm going to choose a single operation. And here you can see all of the different finishing strategies, roughing strategies, and specialized strategies. And I can select exactly the ones I need for this application. I'll start with the Z-level rough and click finish. I can also select check surfaces. These are surfaces that I'm not going to machine, but I want the feature to know they're there so that they're not gouged. I click OK and run my simulation. OK, that looks pretty good. Now I'll start applying finishing processes. I'll go back and edit the feature, go to my process tab, and I can add as many operations as I would like to this part. I'll go with one of the specialized strategies, steep and shallow. It's a very good strategy for machining both very steep and very shallow regions with one operation. Okay, this also looks very good, but I want to analyze this part to see how much material is remaining. So with my 3D simulation, I can go to show a part compare comparing the 3D simulation results to the part model. And the areas shown in blue indicate rest material. So I'll add one more process to try to eliminate as much of that rest material as possible. Add a new operation, corner remachining. I'll click Next. Indicate the prior tool size, which is 0.5. OK, and click Finish. I can run one more simulation.